and Dr. Zach Williams and Flat Creek Baptist Church as we dive deeper into God's Word in this podcast titled New Horizons. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me, Pastor Zach Williams from Flat Creek Baptist Church, Gainesville, Georgia, on this episode of New Horizons. Uh, Just our our daily time together in God's Word. Uh, This morning, as I was just kind of thinking about and and looking over some things for our daily uh, podcast and radio ministry, I just really felt prompted by God to just spend some time with you in the book of Psalms. You know, uh, Psalms is actually the hymn book of the Jewish people. Uh, And so so you think about the hymns uh, that you find in uh, your church pew, and you think about how those songs mean so much to you uh, because at different points in your life, they minister to you in different ways. Well, I can think about uh, my favorite hymn in the hymn book is, is there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunge beneath that flood, lose all their guilty stains. I mean, what a, what a beautiful hymn. And I can think about how that hymn has meant so much to me throughout the years and how it just reminds me daily of the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus and the fact that my sins have been cast as far as the east is to the west. What a beautiful hymn that is. Well, as we come to the to the Psalms, this is the hymn book of the Jewish people. And so these Psalms would have meant so much to them in different times of of distress and different times of maybe anxiety, fear, even mountaintop experiences. And here's the thing, friends, the Psalms uh, today still stand as as great um, encouragement to the believer. I can think of so many different Psalms and how they've ministered to me throughout my life at different seasons and different points and different times. Um, I can remember being in Bible college a few years ago, and I had an Old Testament professor. His name was Gordon Elliott. Mr. Elliott was just a, a wonderful, wonderful man, a very humble servant of God. And I can remember being a young Bible college student. He said, gentlemen, next week I want you to come into class prepared to present your favorite psalm to the class. And so the next week rolled around and I was in a class of about 20 guys and and every one of them got up and presented their favorite psalm and just read the scriptures together. And I'm going to tell you, friends, that was one of the greatest experiences of my life, listening to why these men um, loved the different psalms and what they meant to them. Well, when I thought about that and I thought about my favorite psalm, what it is, uh, I continually come back to Psalm chapter 100. Now, let me tell you why this psalm means so much to me. There was a point in my life before salvation uh, when I was really wrapped up into sin. There were just a lot of different things in my life uh, that today I I look back and I think, how could I ever have fallen uh, entrapped and enslaved to those sins? Um, Sins such as addiction and adultery and pornography and Um, just rage and anger and bitterness and hatred. I mean, just all these different things that just uh, consumed my life. And praise God, today I've been forgiven and there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus and I'm a new man. Uh, But I was in my fourth drug rehabilitation program. I had just given my life to Christ and I was reading through the Bible and I was in the Psalms and I read Uh, Psalms chapter 1 all the way up to Psalm chapter number 99. And it was Christmas Day. And I was in this drug rehab program and I was so dejected and distraught that I wasn't going to be home for Christmas to see my my children and my wife, to be with my family. And I remember when I got to Psalm 99, I just closed my Bible and just, you know, uh, just went on about my day. And Uh, That afternoon on Christmas Day, they gave us a mail call, meaning they brought mail to us and let us um, read letters from our family. And I had all kinds of different letters from my family encouraging me and telling me how um, grateful they were uh, that they had heard that my life had been changed. And then I opened up one card, and I had a letter from my my Papa Williams, my granddaddy. And my granddaddy wrote me this encouraging letter, 
and just told me how proud he was and he had heard of the change in my life. And then at the very end, all he wrote was P.S. Psalm 100. It was the next psalm that I was supposed to read. And that morning I had stopped. But now this letter came in the mail and I opened up the Bible. And there in this drug rehabilitation program, I read the following words. Shout triumphantly to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Acknowledge that Yahweh is God. He made us and we are His, His people, the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name for Yahweh is good and His love is eternal. His faithfulness endures through all generations. Here I was, this young believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. I was pretty down that day because I wasn't going to see those that I loved on such a, a great holiday. And it was going to be the first time in my life that I wasn't with my family on Christmas Day. And I get this letter, and my granddaddy reminds me through his letter that no matter where you are, no matter what's going on, no matter the period of your life, the time of your life, um, no matter if you're on the highest mountain or the lowest valley, you should always, always, always shout to the Lord. You should serve the Lord. You should acknowledge the Lord. Why? Because He made us. We are His people. We are the sheep of His pasture. Now, as a believer in Christ, I was His. Not only should we shout and serve and acknowledge, but we should enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. And I remember that day just being caught up in the Spirit and just... And just praising Him and worshiping Him and glorifying Him in the place that I was at. And friends, I will tell you that that day, although I wasn't with my family on Christmas Day, although I wasn't able to spend time with them and enjoy their company, I was with Jesus. And that made all the difference in the world. And so today, friends, I want you to just kind of consider the Psalms. What's your favorite Psalm? Why is it your favorite? How does it minister to your heart? And maybe, just maybe, you should get back into this book and take a look at what God has done and the joy of your salvation and come before Him and acknowledge Him because of His love for you and His forgiveness of you and the salvation that you have experienced in Him. God bless you. Have a good afternoon.